Well, I am uh, traveling up Interstate 35 right now. And absolutely every single time I come up here, traffic's like this. And it is so, so frustrating for me. I need to take a deep breath. They say, uh, calm down. <sighs> calm down. Uh, anyway, no, in order to get everything that I want to get done done i got to get up early and i'm on the road a whole lot more than most people think right now i'm on my way up to a belton and i've got to go up there i'm picking up a a, a deer cart and uh may wonder what a deer cart is it's a cart that i can wind up taking uh, uh and loading by myself at the deer farm i can load deer up without having some help and so anyway uh next stop is going to be belton hopefully well next stop is like right here because I'm fixing to stop because of traffic, but uh, next big stop is going to be getting my deer cart. All right, I know you think I'm speeding, but look, look at this speed limit sign right there. 80 miles an hour in Texas, the speed limit is 80 miles an hour, so right there, 80 miles an hour. And look what's following me. What is that back there? Can y'all see that? Oh, oh, that's a bass boat following me. That only means one thing. I'm going to find Colton and we're going fishing. All right, I just got done with uh, a telephone call that I'm gonna tell you all about. I'm pretty frustrated with it. Uh, we're on YouTube. That's one place that we air. And uh, YouTube, as far as sportsmen go, YouTube is not one of those kind of deals that I think is very promising for the future. I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, on this phone call, I've got a, a company that basically advises me on what we ought to be doing in order to grow our channel, grow our reach, and hopefully, uh, uh, I don't know, protect the future of the outdoors. Well, what happened, they gave me some piece of advice. The thumbnails that are on YouTube, every single video's got a little thumbnail. The thumbnail's going to, now we can't have a thumbnail that's got a gun in it can't have a thumbnail that has a, a cartridge in it and so that needs to be taken away the next thing that needs to be taken away they said we need to take away uh, any thumbnails that have dead animals in them because dead animals are offensive to people okay the next thing that you need to do the piece of advice is do not do any more YouTube videos with children and guns or hunting because YouTube is opposed to that opposed to us exposing children to guns and hunting so anyway what's the future of me with YouTube well we're gonna stay there because we have to stay there and we will stay there until the very bitter end but at some point they're going to pull the plug and when they do I hope that you're watching our videos at High Road Hunting because on our website all of our videos are there and we are not gonna steer away from taking kids and talking about guns and celebrating the fact that we are Americans and we have the choice and the freedom to do what we do. So anyway, uh, disturbing phone call, but that's the way things are going in the future. And I encourage everybody to look for a different venue other than uh, YouTube and Facebook to uh, carry on and get your social media fixes because folks, for sportsmen and Second Amendment lovers, it's going away quick. Some pretty water. We have... Uh, Come out to East Texas. Actually, we're just outside of Athens right now, and uh, it was cold this morning. I mean, we we drove up last night, and uh, and this morning it wound up it got down to about 45 degrees, and so the fishing has kind of slowed down a little bit, but that's okay. We're catching a few fish, and we're having some good father-son time right here on the boat. And we ought to be catching the fish just about any minute now, because I hear them. I hear them seriously. Oh. No, they are fish right here. It's just a matter we got we got to find them. Got to make them bite. Come on up, yeah. Well, he's very big. He's a little bitty fella. Bam. Oh yeah. Ooh, baby. All right, look at that. All right. These fish right here are the kind of fish I like. And you know what kind of fish I like? Ones that bite. Okay, now, we have been sent on a mission. This is a about a 20 acre private lake right here. We've done a lot of hog hunting through the years in this country. 
and they told us, they said, anything under two and a half pounds, take home. Okay, we're gonna take this one home, along with all these in here. There's, there's a lot in there. Just, hello, join your buddies. Okay, on his go. Next. I like that a lot. They're eating that little crankbait up. It's a lipless crankbait, Colton. I'm telling you what, the, the, I want to show you something on here. Take a look. I don't know if you can see it on that camera or not. Look at the teeth marks on that bait. They're eating the crud out of it, man. I mean, today, you know what the fish are eating? Other fish. Imagine that. You know, I made a comment a little while ago. I was like, you know, it's the truth. I think bass fishing, the reason why I like bass fishing so much, is kind of, almost kind of like they're, like it's a coyote in the water. Okay? Look at here. Oh, he's off. But it's like a coyote in the water. I mean, they're they're predators. They love to just eat, eat, eat. And uh, what we do, we wind up fishing for fish for these fish. They're so aggressive, and I love it. I mean, it's a uh, it's something that people say. What do you do when you're not hunting? <laughs> well, you know, hunting for a place to go hunting, or I'm fishing, especially now. That was a little guy there. Uh oh, we may have a problem here. Oh no. Oh no, I had a fish about this big on here. <laughs> we went to get the camera. Come on. I think he's off. No, here he is. Here he is. Look, 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 look. He is on there. I've got six pound test line. Look at the size of this fish. It's a big old cop, is what he is. But we wound up, we, uh, we've been fishing all day long. And anybody knows I like fishing. I love fishing, and I love fishing with small lures when fishing's tough, and fishing's kind of tough, but look at the size of that fish right there. Who says you can't catch a good-sized fish on a little lure? People say, that's like going after an elephant with a BB gun. Well, sometimes you got to shoot elephants with BB guns, I guess. Look at this, though. That's a good-sized fish right here. Let me get him up where you can see him. We don't even have a net on the boat. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, Figure out how to get this dude on board. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, come on, I touched him. I touched him. Look at that. Woo, baby. We may be here a while. Why do you like fishing so much? I don't know, but I love fishing. Come on, baby. Come on up here. Oh, yeah. This right here is an East Texas smallmouth, baby. Yeah, got him. Got him. <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Okay, Colton and I have a deal. Every time we go fishing, and I'll let Colton kind of tell you about that deal while I'm getting this booger up. Dollar first fish, dollar biggest fish, dollar most fish. Oh. And, uh, I've got one dollar. Yeah, I caught Col the first fish. Colton did catch the first fish. I had it to him. But look at this. Step look back this. a little bit. It's it's you're close. Look at this. <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Mm. Not bad for six pound test. Not bad. That right there. The cool thing about fishing for me is it's like hunting. Uh, but you're hunting for something that you don't even need to know it's there. You kind of think everything is right, everything is right, and you're fishing, and like you're hunting for something you can't see. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a nice picture of this so we can put this on our Facebook page, and, and then uh, we'll let it go. Come on. What are you doing biting me now? Come on. There we go. Woo, man. Now what am I going to do? Oh, 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 oh. here it's like the gods are with me today this actually isn't my beer but it is now this is what I do to relax folks and I love it yes that's a black bass and yes we're gonna let them go in Crisco we were uh Fishing on a private lake, so we wound up, we were 
sent out there with instructions, they keep everything that was two and a half pounds or less. The reason why is because the lake had too many fish in it. So we wound up, we caught quite a few fish. Uh, we caught some really big fish. But uh, this is what the little fish are good for right here. Eat them. And that's what we're going to do with them. Eat them. Look at this. This is about the biggest one. I want to show you. This is about the biggest bass we kept. And we caught a whole bunch of them that were this size. And the reason to catch this and keep these versus the big ones is because lots of them make this size right here. But by the time they start getting bigger and bigger, fewer and fewer get bigger and bigger. So that's the reason why you want to release the big ones. But the little ones taste just as good as the big ones. That's what we're doing right now. Some of you may be wondering how come my truck is running. And I really wish it wasn't running right now. But the reason why it is running is because I've got a bad starter. Okay? This is a 2006 Dodge Cummins with a 5.9 diesel in it. And I mean, I love it. And uh, I don't want to get rid of this truck. But I'm looking at new trucks and wondering what kind of truck would you be looking at if you're looking at a new truck? I've had this since it was brand new. It's got a lot of sentimental meaning to me. But uh, at the same time, too, it runs really good. It's just time for a new starter. It's got 350,000 miles on it, and it's going strong, all except for a starter. So if you've got any suggestions on the truck, what you would get, or what I should look at, let me know, please. My first thing to do is get an electric fillet knife. I have filleted fish in so long that I haven't fished in a long time, really. I mean, I just started fishing about two months ago when Colton got this boat. This boat right here, and it's a beautiful boat. Yeah. Anyway, it kind of got me back into fishing, and the most important thing what it did, it gave me time to be able to spend with Colton. And uh, that's the most important thing there is to me. Yeah, catching fish is fun, but spending time with Colton is more fun. We're going to have fried fish tonight. 